three, two, one. I wonder who you wanted to be in the nativity play when you were at school. I always wanted to be Mary, but it never happened. There are far too many angels and shepherds, aren't there? This year, I haven't even got to play one of the characters in the actual story up close. Instead, I was a grumpy donkey or a greedy tax collector. Doesn't feel fair, does it? In our reading this morning, we've heard something of the simplicity of the story that we celebrate at Christmas. We've heard how Mary and Joseph came to Bethlehem to be part of that census and there, away from home, away from her mum, Mary gives birth to her very first child. You can imagine the nervousness. And it wasn't even in conditions that were sanitary or, or, or caring for a, a newborn or a mother. However, what a special moment. And we heard there in Luke's Gospel something of how the angels tell the story to the shepherds. And the shepherds go and look. So who are you in that story today? Are you Mary? Are you an angel? Are you a shepherd? The angels... Bring good news, we're told. When I was ordained a bishop, I was told to be an angel. I, I don't know whether I've managed it, but it's not so much about the angelic presence that we often comment on. It's more about that message that we bring. Bringers of good news. Good news of great joy, the angels share. Are you a joy bringer? Are you someone who's got good news to share? I hope so. I hope the story of Christmas has filled you with joy this year, despite all the challenges we face, and that you can bring joy to others in sharing that good news. Or perhaps you're a shepherd. Perhaps you've never really heard the story before, but somehow it's come afresh to you this year. Just when you needed it, amidst all of the challenges of the virus and the fear that's brought, the anxiety, Perhaps that news of great joy has somehow stirred something in you. We're told that the shepherds, when they hear of that news, they want to go now and see for themselves. So if you're in that position, then why don't you go and have a look? Why not explore more of what this comfort means, what this message of joy and hope means? Go and have a look. Or perhaps, perhaps you're Mary, proudly there with your newborn, and yet wondering what it all means, pondering, we're told, treasuring it in your heart, not just the memory of, of, of this little life, but actually wondering about why God chose her. Because God has chosen not only her, but you too. Are you willing to say your yes to him? in the way that she did. This Christmas, may we be joy bringers, may we go and search for ourselves, and may we say yes to whatever God has in store for us. Amen.